Picture this, it's the year 1968, a time when television was a portal to uncharted worlds, when the concept of streaming was still a distant dream. You're nestled in your favorite armchair, the TV casting a soft glow across the room. As you fiddle with the rabbit ears to get the perfect reception, a new series bursts onto the screen, whisking you away to the rugged landscapes of the Pacific Northwest. Here come the bride's dances across the screen, and little do you know, this show is about to etch its mark in your memory. The opening notes of the theme song envelop you, a catchy melody that takes residence in your mind forever. Those iconic characters, the rambunctious bold brothers, the dashing Jason, and the feisty women who make up the Mercer girls, they become your companions in this journey through comedy, romance, and a touch of old-fashioned drama. Fast forward to those nights spent waiting eagerly for each new episode, sharing laughs and maybe even shedding a tear or two as the characters face their trials and tribulations. And oh, the weddings. The weddings that brought the town to life, filling the air with a contagious sense of joy. But now, as you reflect on those moments, you can't help but wonder about the stories behind the scenes. The secrets, the anecdotes, and the quirks that made Here Come the Brides more than just a TV show, a cherished memory of a bygone era. So, let's pull back the curtain and unveil some of those intriguing tidbits that have been hidden away for far too long. Did you know that the show was inspired by actual events? Or that the camaraderie between the cast extended beyond the screen? These random facts will add new layers to your nostalgic recollections, reminding you once again of the magic that unfolded on that small screen. Now, as we delve into these captivating revelations, get ready to be transported back to a time when the world was simpler and TV had the power to shape dreams. Get ready to rediscover Here Come the Brides. Here Come the Brides, the 1968 TV series that charmed audiences with its frontier tales, held a unique challenge behind the scenes. The task of creating a close-knit community feel on screen was no easy feat, given that only a mere 10 actors graced the episodes consistently. The magic of camaraderie was woven amidst this limited cast, painting a vibrant picture of a bustling logging town. In an intriguing intertextual twist, fans of both Here Come the Brides and Star Trek might raise an eyebrow at the connection between Aaron Stempel and Spock's mother. According to the 1985 Star Trek novel Ishmael by Barbara Hambly, Aaron Stempel, portrayed by Mark Lennard, who also took on the role of Spock's father, Ambassador Serk, had an ancestral link to Amanda Grayson. A temporal intervention by Spock himself averted Klingon interference in Stempel's fate, preserving an unsung tie between these two iconic series. While many might assume that the musical charms of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers influenced Here Come the Brides, a surprising revelation points elsewhere. The series owes its essence more to MGM's film Westward the Women. This lesser-known connection sheds light on the true inspirations that guided the show's narrative and atmosphere. As we revisit the alluring world of Here Come the Brides, let's appreciate the intricate web of talent, ancestry, and cinematic influences that converge to create a memorable TV experience. The challenge of camaraderie among a limited cast, the intertextual threads linking different universes, and the unexpected cinematic lineage reveal a deeper layer to the this beloved series. The 1968 TV series Here Come the Brides brought the rugged charm of the Pacific Northwest to screens across America captivating audiences with its unique premise and endearing characters. Inspired by the real-life endeavors of a Sam Mercer, the show followed the Bolt brothers as they aimed to bring balance to a community overrun by bachelors. But beneath the show's surface lay a fascinating connection to another beloved sitcom, a distinctive sound effect that signaled a game-saving idea for one of the characters was none other than the same sound used in Bewitched when a spell was cast. A subtle nod to another Columbia, Screen Gems production. The heartwarming series introduced viewers to the Bolt brothers, who, as the storyline subtly hints, immigrated from Scotland with their parents during their early years. A surprise visit from their uncle Duncan stirs up memories of their homeland, evoking recollections of their family estate and a sense of unexpected departure from their Scottish roots. Brought to life against the backdrop of the stunning Pacific Northwest, the show's premise mirrored the real-life efforts of a Sam Mercer. Mercer's 19th-century ocean voyages aimed to address the severe gender imbalance in the Pacific Northwest by recruiting eligible women from New England. Though Mercer's efforts were not always successful, 
they left an indelible mark on the region's history. This very narrative found its way into Here Come the Brides, resonating with audiences and connecting the show to a pivotal moment in American history. As the Bolt brothers navigated the challenges of introducing marriageable women to their logging community, the show managed to pay tribute to Mercer's journey while adding its own flair of romantic intrigue and comedic moments. Here Come the Brides remains a timeless series that not only entertained but also subtly wove historical inspiration into its engaging narrative. In the annals of television history, Here Come the Bride stands as a testament to the power of storytelling, intertwining fictional charm with echoes of real-life struggles and triumphs. The connection between Mercer's historical voyage and the fictional Bolt brothers' quest for love enriches the show's legacy, making it a cherished piece of television history. So, as fans fondly remember the unique setting, lovable characters, and unexpected connections of Here Come the Brides, they can now appreciate the show's deeper layers of inspiration, forever etched into its episodes. Love and Legacy, unveiling untold stories of Here Come the Brides in the annals of television history. The 1968 series Here Come the Brides stands as a captivating relic of its time. A charming tale set in the rough and tumble world of 19th century Seattle, the show offered viewers a glimpse into the lives of the rugged Bolt brothers and their audacious plan to import marriageable women to their logging town. However, a surprising twist lay beneath the surface, shattering the illusion of matrimonial bliss. Despite its title, the majority of the brides never took those fabled walks down the aisle. The series, renowned for its innovative premise, intriguingly showcased the lives of the brides-to-be. But the path to holy matrimony proved elusive for many, with the stories of independence, friendship, and self-discovery often overshadowing nuptial vows. This departure from traditional TV narratives offered a refreshing take on relationships, capturing the essence of an era marked by change. Across the northern border, a distinct resonance emerged between the show's narrative and a historical antecedent from the New France era. The French-Canadian translation of the series found immense popularity in Canada, echoing the legacy of Les Phil's Du Roy. In the late 1,600 seconds, Jean Talon, the colony's civil administrator, orchestrated a similar endeavor to bring marriageable women, known as the King's Daughters, to New France. The historical resonance of arranged unions echoed through time, bridging the gap between two eras separated by centuries. Amid the colorful tapestry of characters, another intriguing fact emerges, the age-old paradox of time. Bobby Sherman, who portrayed the youngest Bolt, believably embodied the energetic spirit of his character. But, as fate would have it, he held an unexpected connection to David Soul, the actor portraying the middle Bolt. Sherman, although the junior Bolt on screen, surpassed his on-screen elder by a month in real life. A subtle twist of fate that added another layer to the intriguing dynamics of the show. Here Come the Brides, a series defined by its endearing characters and captivating storylines, continues to leave an indelible mark on television history. Its portrayal of love, determination, and the complexities of human connection resonates even today, proving that the most captivating stories often lie beneath the surface. In the 1968 TV series Here Come the Brides, an intriguing age dynamic played out among the characters, defying appearances. Captain Clancy appeared older than Jason Bolt, yet the reality differed. Henry Beckman and Robert Brown, who portrayed Clancy and Jason respectively, were roughly the same age. The illusion extended to Denver Pyle, Uncle Duncan to the Bolt brothers, and the twin of their father. Despite appearances, Pyle was just six years older than Robert Brown. Such casting slights of hand were not uncommon, weaving a web of familial connections that often belied the actor's true ages. The show's portrayal of regular trips to and from New Bedford, Ma in the 1860s revealed a temporal disparity. Historical accounts estimate such voyages took a grueling eight weeks round trip, raising questions about the show's depiction. For a circumnavigation of South America's Cape Horn, the duration would stretch much longer. This inconsistency showcases the liberties often taken by television narratives, juxtaposing historical accuracy with dramatic expediency. A notable metamorphosis occurred within the show's musical identity during its inaugural season. The opening theme music evolved from a purely instrumental rendition to a version adorned with lyrical accompaniment. 
This alteration marked a conscious decision by the creators, influencing the show's tone and resonance with its audience. Such creative shifts within a series can illuminate the malleability of artistic direction and its effect on viewer engagement. In the tapestry of Here Come the Brides, appearances often diverged from reality, casting age, historical accuracy, and musical style into a captivating interplay. His dimensions underscored the intricate balance between entertainment and authenticity that characterizes television's portrayal of historical narratives. As we bid adieu to the vibrant tapestry that is the 1968 TV series, Here Come the Brides, let us not simply part ways with a series of fading frames, but rather embark on a voyage into our own memories. Each episode, a portal to a different time, a different ethos, has woven itself into the very fabric of our experiences. Perhaps, as we drift into the recesses of our recollections, we uncover shared moments of laughter, heartache, and camaraderie with the vibrant characters who graced our screens. Here Come the Brides wasn't just a show, it was an invitation to traverse the terrains of human emotions and connections. A reminder that amidst challenges and struggles, there exists a resilient spirit that binds us all. This wasn't merely a show about pioneers carving out their destiny. It was a tale of forging bonds that would withstand the test of time. So, let's turn back the hands of time in our minds and relive those stolen moments that have made a home in our hearts. What was your favorite episode? The one that made you laugh till your sides ached, or the one that moved you to tears? How did these characters become an integral part of your life's narrative? It's time to gather these fragments of nostalgia, to weave a collective memory that transcends time and space. Share your anecdotes, your musings, and your emotions, for in doing so, we bridge the gap between then and now, between strangers and friends, as we celebrate the indelible mark left by Here Come the Brides. As we close this chapter, a chapter that has unfolded over decades, let us carry forward the spirit of the show into our tomorrows. Thank you for accompanying me on this journey down memory lane. Your time and interest are the threads that bind us in this shared tale. Remember, these aren't just stories, they are reflections of who we are and who we've been. So, let your memories flow and stories unfold, for in the end, it's the memories that truly make us rich.